Good afternoon. My name is Mark Greenhalgh. I'm the Managing Director of Captivate Media Limited. Put simply, Captivate is like television in a taxi. We've tried it and tested it over a period of um, the last 12 months in Edinburgh in 30 taxis. Um, Captivate delivers advertising messages directly to um, passengers in taxis who are, in, who are captive. Um, Mark is having terrible problems describing his business. <clears throat> our product system uses our own unique software, which we've developed over two years. The, the, um, fairly difficult this. I've got a cracking pitch and it's, and it's leaving me and it was fine earlier. Uh, uh, Mark, let me put you out of your misery because you're not, it's clear you're sort of not sure where to go next with your presentation. Mark has been rescued by Rachel Elnor, but he's completely failed to explain his business, which runs advertisements on screens in the back of taxis. He wants £100,000 in exchange for 10% of the company, but after his disastrous pitch, the Dragons will need a lot of convincing, Duncan Bannatyne in particular. What exactly do you think your product is? Because anyone can take a television screen and stick it in a car or a cab. It's an information and entertainment system which sells advertising space around it. But it, what it provides to the passenger, what's in it for them, is local news and weather sports. We already have a national broadcaster agreeing to provide the um, news and sport content. But anybody can stick a television in a cab. Well, it's not a television in a cab, though. So I'm sure they could. Our system can um, change the, the advertising images remotely and so from a single point we can change the uh, any content in any individual taxi anywhere in the world. Duncan Bannatyne is unimpressed by Mark's big plans to feed TV style ads into taxis across the world. Despite this Mark is prepared to be painfully honest about the results of his business's trial run in Edinburgh. During the trial the system uh, wasn't stable and so that would cause occasionally the volume to, to, to be set and then it would suddenly go up or whatever and so rather than come back or report it, it's easier for a driver just to, to find a way of switching off and it, and it could do that, they can't do it now. Aye, so the, the drivers weren't interfering with your system, your system was interfering with their job? Aye, basically. And they had to disconnect now. it? That's right. What if it malfunctions and, and the passenger says it's too loud or I don't want it on and the, things the like that? The passenger can control it. Um, the passenger can control, control the, the passenger, it? The passenger can turn the volume up or down, they can switch it off. So taxi drivers have a problem with Mark's system and passengers can turn it off. This is hardly likely to fill the advertisers with confidence. Mark is struggling to impress the Dragons. How much money are you looking for, Mark? The company is in a position right now uh, to begin a national rollout. We've completed all our investors. Are you embarrassed to tell me? No, I'm just coming to I'm just trying to... It's How much money looking, are you looking for? We're looking for 450000 um, to begin a national rollout. Although we only require 100,000 to, to support a, a, and strengthen our balance sheet. Okay, so what percentage are you giving for the 100,000 that you're raising? 10%. 10%. So you're valuing this product at a million pounds? I value it beyond a million, but a million is the, the least I would accept. I mean, if you said to me, I'll, I'll buy it off you for a million now, I wouldn't sell it. Despite the negative reaction to his business, Mark still believes it's viable. Now the Dragons want to discover if there's anything in the business to make it worth investing in. How much money have you made in the last year? 120,000, approximately. If you've got a product that's making 120,000 a year, why do you need money from us? Because it's eaten up more than that a year. Well, I mean, money you make is money coming in minus money going out. So if there's more money going out than what there is coming in, you're not making 120,000 a year. You're not making any money. Yeah, OK. Well, it's not making any money then, in that case. Um, what we're trying to do... How much are you losing then, Mark? Because, so your turnover is 120,000? About 6,000 a month just now. You're losing £6,000 a month? Well, it's time to give up. This product's not viable, and I have no interest in investing in it, so I'm out. Fair yeah. enough. Duncan Bannatyne is out. Not only has Mark got a poor grasp of figures, but he's also admitted his business is losing a massive £6,000 a month. The revelation has shocked the Dragons. Doug Richard thinks Mark is in an impossible situation. I have a huge concern for you and your business, and I feel very bad for you, because everything you're talking about 
is saying, based on today's technology, I'm going to do this. And yet every single technology you're talking about is changing. You say, well, I'll make money. No, you won't. The next guy will. The guy who waits until such time as this stuff costs very little, then this will be real. You are in front of yourself. And it's unfortunate because somebody else will profit from your loss. And the smartest thing you could do would be to not go ahead. It's getting worse for Mark. Doug Richard thinks Mark's business won't succeed until the technology gets cheaper, so he's out. There are three dragons left, Peter Jones, Simon Woodruff and Rachel Elnor, who's heard enough. I mean, you, you've got 30 of these going, you're losing 72,000. You put them in 3,000 taxis, you're losing 7.2 million. And that, just the capital cost... It doesn't is work just... like that. It doesn't work like that. And I, I, I can see the where capital cost, from, Mark, is just mind-boggling. And, and I, you know, I'm sitting in the cab, I can turn it off or I can turn it down. I mean, do you know how many advertising messages an individual gets on a single day? Do you so know I what the figure is? No, I can't think of the top of my head, but it's, it's thousands. 3,000. Uh, sorry, no, I'm not interested. Rachel Elnor is out, along with Doug Richard and Duncan Bannatyne. Mark desperately needs the £100,000 he came for, but his hopes for investment are collapsing. There are only two dragons left, Simon Woodruff and Peter Jones. This is not a business concept that is ever going to give payback. We've proven the concept You haven't proven anything. Year. You've already said you're not making money at it. We've proven that advertisers want to buy into it. Some of the national companies that have used it already. You know, we've not got enough. I think to make a comparison to this, I think, I think you're complete. That's poppycock. I'm telling you, just be quiet. The company's trading and, and it's working and be it's quiet. demonstrating. Just it. listen, listen. You've got to listen. You say you need 450,000. Well, of course you do, because you're you're not going to get payback because the uptake of this it won't be there. And for that reason alone, and that reason, I am not definitely not going to be investing in the business. Okay. Having torn Mark to shreds, Peter Jones is out. Despite four dragons pointing out major flaws in his business, Mark is still insisting it'll be a success. Simon Woodruff is the only dragon left, and if Mark doesn't start giving some convincing answers, he'll leave without the £100,000 he came for. Mark, I've been in your taxi. When I was in Edinburgh in the summer, I went in these taxis. And I've got to tell you, first of all, I hated them. I was the guy who turned them off immediately. You've got a burn of £6,000 a month, how am I, as an investor, going to make any money out of this? Only because we've only... I mean, basically, we make the same amount of money per cab. The more cabs we put up, the more space we've got. You know, the, 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 it's How am I going to make money out of this? Tell me numbers. I mean, the way I'm making money, we sell advertising space. And so what are the numbers? You're losing £6,000 a month now. Only because How much advertising space are you selling now? If I can refer to my business plan... Um, Unless it's in your head right now and you absolutely know that, I'm not going to put my money and trust you with my money unless you okay. know that like that. Boom. If you really believe that I'm going to make money, you're going to look me straight in the eye now and you're going to tell me how I'm going to do it. I mean, I don't know what, what more I can say to you. The words aren't coming to me. The, the business works. We're looking for investment. If you guys don't back it, that, that, that's fine. So but you haven't told me how I'm going to make any money, so I'm not going to give you the money. Thanks for your time. Mark is leaving the Dragon's Den with nothing. After getting off to a bad start, things never got better. And in the end, he could do nothing to persuade the Dragons to invest. That was fun, wasn't it? Captivating. Captivating! <laughs> Mark, I detected quite a bit of negativity up there. Yeah, they were like a bunch of wolves, savaged me. Uh, trying to savage my ideas. I'm somewhat cons uh, concerned, though, because I would have thought that I would have expected more positive advice. So you're losing £6,000 a month. I mean, that's... Well, tunnel, aye, that, that, that was our turnover, certainly, aye. I mean, but the thing is... You should is, have just said, look, we're losing £6,000 a month. I mean, it lo almost looked like you were trying to sort of hold back some... No, not at all. I mean, I'm an honest guy. The, the company is there. You know, it's trading. We've got national um, brands that have already used the system and I'll continue to use it. 